John asked me to make a couple of comments about what I thought uh, the future might might look like, uh, which I'm really, really interested in. I've been organizing, be, besides writing, um, I've been organizing uh, uh, technical communities since the Linux days, um, which is always a lot of fun. And I've, I've really focused on uh, how do people learn? Uh, and I closed in on, on hackathons, uh, creating the Reality Virtually Hackathon here at the MIT Media Lab. Um, uh, the uh, uh, the uh, uh, the hackathon, the AR VR hackathon at the University of uh, Southern California, uh, and uh, soon uh, the Med VR uh, hackathon at, uh, in healthcare and medicine at the uh, at Northeastern University. Uh, that's in June. If you're interested in in finding it, it's um, uh, medvr.io. Uh, but the, the important thing, I, I think, is, is getting people to learn, get, them, get people up to speed, um, and it's more than a pedagogical uh, pro problem. Um, and, I, and I think that also speaks very much of the times. If you go back and, and make a metaphor on film, you know, in the 30s, people were, were disassembling uh, their, uh, their, their, uh, their film cameras uh, so that they could take shots with them that, that they weren't designed to do. Uh, they, would, they would hack them, they, they, um, they would dig holes in the ground so they could get a shot from an angle. Uh, they would disassemble them and put them on a gurney for the first time. I mean, things that you take for granted, but these were the people finding the limits. Um, and, I, and I think this is the, um, the, the import, in, important thing, is that we find the limits. Um, as much as, as um, uh, Magic Leap and, and Microsoft are important in that, that they're tool makers, in the end, nobody ever remembers the tool, tool, tool makers. You know, we wouldn't know about Watson if, if, um, if, if his boss didn't say, Watson, come here, I need you. Um, you know, uh, uh, it's, it's ultimately the people that apply them. And that's a dialectic that's really important. Um, and we need to continue to push uh, to build creative uh, te technologies, um, uh, technology applications that, that bring about better development environments, better hardware. And that's the context that I, that I looked at this. So I, I've got six and only six um, impactful uh, developments that, that, are, that are gonna absolutely change 2021. They're really, really promising factors. And the first one is, is that you cannot separate art art from, uh, from engineering anymore in, in this area. If you think web development was hard and required designers and they also required good, good uh, soft, software developers, building good AR uh, is, is, is really hard and, it, and, and there needs to be uh, a, a continuum of, of design invo involvement. It's just not something that you think about and, and, and put, put together. Um, if you think about the Stanford D School philosophy on, on design, it very, very much fits, fits here. Um, and it's, it's, uh, the number of designers we need is going to go up um, um, and until there's a par with the number, number of software developers in, in this area, I think. Um, the um, headsets get smaller and more mobile and more powerful. Um, I think you know, we're not there yet. Everybody, is, everybody laments that there isn't a, a pair of glasses like this that you can put on and, and it's an, an AR headset. Uh, uh, that's coming, but what's, what's more important and, and, and dialectically is the interaction between the, the tool creators like, like Microsoft, the, the component manufacturers and the soft, software developers. It, it took a lot to get uh, the platform vendors, um, Unity for one, one of them, uh, to, to adapt uh, to develop for the HoloLens, to, to be able to, de to develop uh, for uh, the, um, uh, the, the, the Quest. Uh, you know, there had to be a lot of thought and re-engineering about, 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 about how, the, how the tools worked with the hardware uh, so that they could get light and responsive hardware. Uh, the, um, uh, the, 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 the latest Quest is a vast improvement in ter terms of, of price. 
it's not a Vive, but it's pretty, pretty amazing that, that it does what it does and you, you can code, code with it. And I think that's just the cycle that we're gonna see. We're gonna see it again in, in, in 2021 and it's gonna be, gonna be fantastic. Um, the, um, uh, the, the, um, uh, I think um, healthcare is, um, is really taking off. Um, it, uh, Bob Fine, who runs VR Voice, uh, and uh, uh, Brandon Burkhead and Brennan Spiegel, uh, who, who run uh, a virtual medicine conference out at Cedar sinai um, have been focusing attention, just like here, here, here at ARIA, uh, on, on applications for healthcare and, and life sciences. But what's significant and what's causing it to, to take off is the discipline in healthcare for evidence-based ba research. So when somebody shows up with, with, a, with a solution, uh, they've, they've done their research, they've interacted with, with, with uh, the user, the patient, or, or surgeon, or whoever. They've defined the use case, case down, down and it fits. Um, and they also typically have numbers. And the numbers are um, a 6% improvement in the, um, uh, the cost of, of an operating suite, which costs, costs a whole lot of money. Uh, and uh, or uh, people who ex uh, uh, have have an experience can use 30% less opiates. Um, you know n numbers like that, which are uh, which are important. It's what motivated me to do uh, MedVR.io. Um, industrial uses out outpace gaming and uh, and and um, entertainment. Um, I spent. Uh, I spent a lot of time over the last three years in, in Hollywood, um, and there's no question that, that the entertainment is going to be in an important um, uh, and very large market. Same thing with, with, with gaming. Uh, but quite frankly, the economics aren't there, there for them. They, they're, they're sitting there ready uh, and, uh, to, to invest when they, they're able to forklift their platform from uh, television, movies, and other, uh, other uh, 2D forms in, into, um, uh, in, in, into AR, uh, an AR envir environment. Um, the, um, on the other hand, the industrial world, the medical world, if you look at PTC, uh, the CEO of PTC is pretty bold because he talks in front of the investors say saying, we're we're generating real revenues now, now with, with augmented reality. Um, and if you've followed a, a new, new tech companies, um, you know, Amazon for years didn't even acknowledge that, that they had, had a cloud um, uh, service uh, to, to the financial analysts. So you know that, that, it's, um, that it's growing. Um, the, uh, the last point, the sixth point, uh, which deserves a lot of thought is, um, 5G opens up new possibilities for AR. Uh, what you know, we see a lot of AR applications at, uh, or mock-ups of, of, of applications, but very few of these can be standalone. They have to sync uh, with, with something else. They have to get data from 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 some somewhere else. And if you're using AR in in an industrial uh, type, type type of situation, where you don't have the, the opportunity for a latency of, um, uh, of, of 50 milliseconds. Um, uh, you know, you, you're, you're, you're steering something remotely while you're, you're doing something here. Um, you, you've got to get it down to nine milliseconds. Um, and also the, 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 the quality that, that you need. And we're, we're, we're really starting to see the rollout. And I, th I think we're, we're back to the dialectic with, with 5, 5G. Uh, we're going to identify a lot of uh, a lot of ap applications that are really really interesting. I, I looked at one uh, out of Heidelberg uh, where they found that um, if uh, people who, who have a stroke are operated on on uh, as soon as possible to remove the clot, uh, they recover uh, so much uh, so much more quickly and and co completely. Uh, the problem is even for a small country like like. Um, uh, like like Germany, uh, you can't get a trained surgeon there. There, 
there. By doing it rem robotically and, and remotely uh, uh, with, um, uh, with, with um, uh, uh, virtual reality uh, to control it, um, and also being able to see what's taking place not only inside but outside the patient because the, uh, the, the attendant uh, tech, tech is there, there um, is, is going to be how they're going to, going to handle this. They already have the data that says people live, live uh, recover faster, they cost less to get to rec recover, they live better lives, um, and it, it, it just, just may, makes sense. 5G is going to ena enable that because of the latency and, and, and the speed, and that we're that a surgeon who's um, uh, who, who's 800 miles away is going to be able to trust the equipment is is actually um, operating the way it would be operating if he were in the room. So that is the end of my six points that uh, that that you should take 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 a look at. I think. 2020 is, is, is a real building year. Um, stop looking at the up and to the right uh, trends, just build. Uh, stop listening to the venture people because the only time that they're happy is when they're cashing out. The rest of the time, they're, 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 they're complaining. Uh, so uh, pick up a project, build it, and uh, AR will, um, uh, will, will take care of itself, and 2021 is going to be a big year.